A Love Letters Journey, Francois Boucher's Masterpiece. Francois Boucher, 1703-1770, was a French painter who was one of the leading figures of the Rococo style. He was known for his graceful and charming scenes of mythology, history, and genre, as well as his portraits and decorative works. He was also the official painter of Madame de Pompadour, the influential mistress of King Louis XV. One of his most delightful works is The Dispatch of the Messenger, painted in 1765. The painting depicts a young shepherd in classical attire, fastening his love letter to a white dove with a long blue ribbon. He is surrounded by lush greenery and ruins, creating a romantic and idyllic setting. He looks at the viewer with a confident and hopeful expression, as if inviting us to share his anticipation and excitement. The painting is part of a series of four that narrate a simple love story. The other three paintings, which are now lost, showed the arrival of the dove to the shepherdess, the reading of the letter by her confidant, and the meeting of the lovers. The paintings were exhibited together at the Salon of 1765, where they received praise from critics and viewers, including Denis Diderot, who called them a charming little poem. The painting is characterized by its oval shape, which enhances the intimacy and harmony of the scene. The composition is balanced yet dynamic, with every element drawing the eye towards the central action. The painting is also rich in detail and texture, capturing the natural and artificial elements with skill and elegance. The painting portrays the pastoral genre, which was popular in the 18th century. The pastoral genre depicted idealized scenes of rural life, often inspired by classical literature and mythology. The pastoral genre was also a form of escapism and fantasy, as it contrasted with the realities and complexities of urban and courtly life. The painting reflects Boucher's artistic influences and innovations. Boucher was influenced by the Italian painters of the 17th century, such as Giovanni Battista Taipolo and Francesco Albani, who depicted mythological and pastoral scenes with lightness and grace. Boucher was also influenced by the Dutch painters of the 17th century, such as Paulus Potter and Adrian van der Velde, who depicted animals and landscapes with realism and detail. Boucher combined these influences with his own originality and creativity, creating a distinctive and charming style that appealed to his patrons and audiences. The painting also reveals Boucher's personal and professional life. Boucher was a prolific and successful painter, who enjoyed the patronage and admiration of the king, the nobility, and the public. He was also a happy and devoted husband and father, who often depicted his wife and children in his paintings. He was also a teacher and mentor, who trained many artists, including his daughter Marie Elizabeth Louise Vigelebrun, who became a famous portraitist. The painting of the Dispatch of the Messenger is a masterpiece of Francois Boucher, a painter who embodied the spirit and style of the Rococo era. The painting showcases his artistic skill and vision, as well as his ability to weave narrative and symbolism into visual art. The painting is a testament to his innovation and influence as a painter, as well as to his historical and cultural significance as a witness and participant of his time.